Summer Games Fest has happened. We got new gameplay from some games that were announced previously and some new world premieres. Let's dive right in. Summer Games Fest has kicked off and it started with Street Fighter 6 showing you the reveal of Guile. I mean, you can't have a Street Fighter without Guile. Again, you see that colorful, colorful showcase. Now, we saw this, an actual deep dive into the gameplay of uh, the PlayStation State of Play, so it's good to see a little bit more of this during Summer Games Fest and different outfits and looks to Guile and his actions and his fighting. So Street Fighter 6 coming soon. We also got a brand new world premiere to Aliens Dark Descent, which comes out in 2023. Looks like it's all about gore. It's a top-down shooter. Looks like it would be multiplayer or team-based, because you do have a team with you exploring, going through. I would imagine it's online, maybe even co-op. But man, can you survive Alien? Another game in the Alien world, and the look of Alien looks awesome. So they did a great job there. We saw a little bit of gameplay, but not too much. 2023. Ballisto Protocol, new trailer. We've seen a lot of this in recent weeks, but now we saw an even new gameplay and more death sequences in gore. A new weapon called the Grip, which is a gravity gun, which you can take enemies and kind of throw them into fans and throw them into other types of death obstacles. I mean, heads exploding, blood splattering, even the way the main character can die is gnarly. It looks like, you know, we know this from the developers of Dead Space 2. It looks like they took that and they made it even crazier. December 2nd, 2022 is the release date. We got a look of gameplay for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Check out our Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video that's coming out soon. They showed the water level, the water tech, and it's awesome. The graphics, all of this looks absolutely breathtaking. The sound is incredible. This is makes me really, really excited for Call of Duty, especially if it's going to look and sound like this. And I think a lot of people are excited for it as well, if it can hit these highs. It, it's hitting that nostalgia button. Back when Modern Warfare was one of the greatest games, still is, top 10 I think for me in first person shooters, especially in army type games. So if they can do the same DNA that they did in before, the same recipe, I think we got another hit on our hands. We got a world premiere of a game that after 30 years is coming back in winter 2022 called Flashback 2. It looks like a side-scroller Prince of Persia type game set in the future in space. There's some car chase scenes as well, but it looks like a lot of fun, especially if you've been a Flashback fan for a while. A Doom-style game, Witchfire world premiere, magic and old-school weapons facing off against some medieval enemies. This is from the Astronauts and Epic Games. Really cool world building here. I like the look of this. It does look a little bit slower than Doom-type games. Maybe more time to strategize, but that's Witchfire. Excited to see more. Now, another world premiere, Solace. Fort Solace. We didn't see okay. gameplay, but we did see a trailer of this. A space game set on another planet, maybe Mars. We got Troy Baker, a well-known voice, and Roger Clark, a well-known voice from Red Dead 2, the voice of Arthur Morgan. So Troy Baker plays Wyatt Taylor, a medical officer, and Roger Clark plays Jack Leary, a maintenance engineer. It kind of looks like that alien game, all about maybe escaping, getting out, trying to kill your way out. Very, very dark, not a lot of lighting and red. So it's supposed to be a huge mystery, tight thriller, new areas to control, crazy traversal. So we can only imagine there's maybe no gravity when we get to certain areas and a lot of action. Now another world premiere, this looked absolutely horrifying. You are using old school technology that's kind of looked like it's been modified and modernized, fighting horror robots, possibly in space, unsure, but just the sound of this game and the way it looks terrified me. I got chills, my hair went up on the back of my neck. The gun reminded me of something you see in Dead Space, but it's not a weapon, it looks like a recorder, so... Like that horror movie and those games like Blair Witch where you have to see everything through the recorder. Now Routine was announced a decade ago. It's going to be an Xbox and PC exclusive. So it's good to see that the game is still coming out. 
a new game from previous developers from Blizzard called Stormgate. Beta's coming out in 2023, an RTX game. New factions they unveiled, which is the Human Resistance and a Demon faction. Now this looks to be a post-apocalyptic RTS game. Now, it's all a CGI trailer, but it reminded me of a lot of Diablo, StarCraft vibe, maybe even a little Overwatch based on the robots that we saw, but it's kind of blending all those games together, where you have the modern tech of StarCraft versus the fantastical look and feel of Diablo and Demons with some interesting abilities and characters that are Overwatch style. So curious to see where this goes. Great developers are helming it. So this looks like a super fun indie game called American Arcadia. TV ratings matter. So how the population cares about you or thinks of you. Do they hate you? Do they love you? If they don't like you, they're here to kill you and they will chase after you and the network will want to get rid of you. And so it looks like a very much escaping side scroller like that limbo, maybe uh, definitely a little bit faster. Death defying jumps and chases, trying to get out of the way. I imagine it's like if GTA had five stars the entire time. That's what it looks like to me. Thriller, creepy vibe to it with that kind of cartoony look. Looks like a lot of fun and I would definitely try this out. Now, first when I saw this trailer, I was like, what is going on? And then I saw the goats, and I was like, oh my goodness. I thought this was something maybe from The Sims, or maybe Saints Row, but it is Goat Simulator 3. It's coming back. They're making a third one, and it just looks absolutely insane. The goats could just... They're just causing so much havoc, as you would as a goat. <laughs> Marvel's Midnight Suns got a brand new trailer unveiling Venom, Scarlet Witch, and Spider-Man. Check out our Marvel's Midnight Suns video when it comes out soon all about what we know so far of the game. Layers of Fears coming out in early 2023 using Unreal Engine 5. Incredibly dark and creepy. Chains on the wall, the lighting, the darkness of this. Oh, the shadows. This, this looks like a game if you want to be scared the entire time. And I know y'all gonna want me, to, want me to stream this on Adoram XP. Y'all gonna have to hold my hand in chat if we're gonna do this because my goodness, terrifying. And these are the same developers from The Medium, which we all know. So this looks like even scarier. First person, a lot of puzzles they say, and just, just horror, just plain horror. A psychedelic horror chronicle. And to cap it off, we had Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog talk about The Last of Us show on HBO, and also the new game that they kind of tease a little bit, a new multiplayer Last of Us type game, and it is evolved. It was going to be like a DLC, now it's its own standalone title, and they've been working on it for two years. All we saw was the concept art, which shows it's going to take place in San Francisco. I don't know how big this is going to be, but they say it's going to be bigger than their previous titles, and it's all online. That does scare me a little bit, Last of Us going to an online format, but if Naughty Dog does what they do best and make an amazing game, I have no doubt this is going to be incredible. New cast of characters as well. They also revealed Last of Us Part 1 Remake on the PS5, and they showed a trailer showcasing what it looks like, and it looks great. I mean, this is, came out on PS3, got remastered for the PS4, and now it's getting remastered for the PS5. Much like Grand Theft Auto, much like Skyrim, it's that same type of mentality where if a game keeps printing money, why stop? So, it looks great, they did a really good job with it, and so if you're into Last of Us and you want to replay that, or you want to get back into the remaster, if you haven't played it yet, now is certainly your time when Last of Us Part 1 comes out with the remake on September 2nd, 2022. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments which game you're most excited for for Summer Games Fest, and maybe which games you thought were going to be announced and weren't. Thanks for watching.